There you go. Just... When are you coming to terraform me? Oh, patience, oh, patience, oh, patience. <clears throat> Interplanetary billiards is not a... Not a thing to be rushed. Well, not, not in an old girl like this. Like this astrosphere. Now you just look at that for a minute. I'll be right back. Did he really say that? Or is that just more Israeli Mossad propaganda? I'll tell you, I don't believe a fucking word thieves, murderers, liars, and killers say, be it professional, hobbyist, or uh, circumstantial. I know, I know. But wait a minute, that's everybody that you pay to make your most important decisions for you. You're top leaders and bureaucrats like Obamni and what was that other things those other two th things names Bush Obamni uh, from Kenya Idi Amin's offspring mm-hmm you do see the resemblance if you look in uh, oh jeez, I'm trying to remember the tribe name from uh, Edia, one of Edia men's many wives, slave wives. Dog only knows what that sick, twisted British pig Edia men did to the boy, or his or his handlers, or anything else. But, of course, what do you expect from minds that murder? I don't know. It's in the West. If the other one was Venus, this must be Mercury. If the other one was Mercury, this must be Venus. It doesn't matter. They both can be used to terraform. Although I don't know about Venus. I think. I mean, it would be really good because it would save. It would save a stellar extinction event. <clears throat> to keep it from going into the sun. But. Well, let me get that for you. Piece of shit, Tripod is frozen again. It's seasonably cold. No snow in the valley bottom though, here in Oliver. Or, uh, no, it's not Oliver, Covert Basin. Still, I didn't, uh, my stations were all down. My local microclimate stations, so I didn't 
actually confirm which way that cold air mass moved in from. Which was very disturbing and unusual. It was almost in indicative of what would have been the second coronal or uh, <coughs> ionosphere cooling that I had ever seen here. Which is, you know, part of the Fukushima mitigation that uh, the chemtrailers were doing at the time. So, Oop. okay, I should just move itself right across the screen. <laughs> Get off of this um, <coughs> crappy porch that my brother-in-law built. I think. You built this porch, didn't you, Kevin? <laughs> okay, I'm not laughing at you, but you make excellent knots. You sure do know how to make a rope last. And your grandfather, he probably thought you weren't paying attention. Oh, that's kind of nice. I can see. I'm like six feet away off of this crappy porch. That's good. The ground's freezing up. I don't have to worry about that slide so much. Sort of a big earthquake coming in through my bedroom. <laughs> oh, that's so warm and fuzzy. Oh, the dogs must be sitting on me. Ah! 100 tons of gravel on top of my head, which would mean, you know, like 30 feet or more. Oh, I can hardly wait to see this on the big screen. I'll put the link to the CMP conference. And more information or whatever system this goes on. Hey, let's try that again. That was great. Should just come right across the screen. Bear with me. So it's almost in the ice pool that yard, like. Well, I wonder if we're going to see Nibiru in March 2014. Which would, of course, be the... Oh, here it comes, I think. Bear with me, yeah. I see it trying to fuck with the, the auto fo Intelli autofocus thingy. Focus aperture. Okay, I'll just let it do its thing. Cubs. Let's see if we get a clear shot like that. It will focus where the shit I think if it goes in the light pollution of that yard light. Don't mind those lights. That's just the car coming up. See, this is like what you get at uh, the Hawaii telescope. Somebody had kept asking and making a big thing over. So this is how serious light pollution can get. And 
smog and all that as far as effective astronomy. You know, which is why we have to spend a little more and do a way better job going into space. And then you learn the space shit you're going to need to survive with. And all the technology you get out of it. Like this camera, for instance, is from the space program. Image sensors and shit. Astronomy. That's who built this shit. The early models. Here it comes. Oh, it's gonna focus too. Yeah, I'll just let it do its thing. If it crosses into the central region, then it has a better chance of figuring out how to focus. Of course, you could easily, uh, somebody with the program could easily fix this image and focus it, because that's all a dynamic image. Come on, baby, focus, focus. I need to interrupt it. Thanks, kitty. headlights did that. I bet you I can next, not this shoot, but next time. I'll try flashing a light in it to trick the auto aperture. So there's a, there's a tip for you guys. I'm trying to make do with shit equipment. Never think of Never think of improvising as a total waste, futile waste of your time. Trying to use hammers to perform rocket science because because there is value to be had in policy center. You know, reasonable the Iranian in, in improvisation the Union in court and all that comes to demand with that. that the European Union very, very valuable reveal the information they have to determine that Iran is not in compliance with the IAEA. Of course, in order to take that material and put it on the table, the Iranians would know what we know about their nuclear program. They would know how then to shut off that access and that information. And the force, unfortunately, is the EU, EU courts have now sided with the Iranians. Second issue. We hear about a recent story said the North Koreans have slowed down the building of a facility to launch ballistic missiles. What they don't point out is all along the Chinese Look, border. Just fix your EMP vulnerability. The deployment of ballistic missiles, which the Iranians Starting with your Koreans grid, put in there in order to, I think, fix all your, le your storage and your electronic China, your data storage. Which means we would be less willing to perhaps retaliate. So the idea that you could either and do negotiations or sanctions to solve this problem. Uh, with respect to the ballistic missile launch of an EMP attack, I think is you're barking up the wrong tree. But the problem is the sun won't negotiate, and the sun you can't tell it to you know change its view, and that is why you need a shield act for the solar EMP. But within the solution to that is the solution to the nuclear program. Let me explain what I mean. The Shield Act requires the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to get from the, all the utilities a proposal on protecting the grid from EMP solar. It cannot be a protection that just means we're going to change the way we run things. It has to be a technology insertion 
That's the only way you're going to deal with the EMP solar effects that actually happen every day. They're just not as bad as you may think of the Carrington effect, one that back in the 1800s. So every day they get hit, and FERC will get that proposal from the electrical grid, and then FERC will say either yes or no or amend it. And they can amend it and change it and send it back to DERC and say, this is what you have to do. And as I said, the key is it has to be a technology insertion. Now, as my colleague just mentioned, there are a number of vendors that have developed a technology uh, to yeah. deal with this. And one of them so, anyhow. sent the material out to big, it's, a, it's, it's the size of a semi, 18-wheeler, sent it out to the Ashton, uh, Idaho National Lab. And the, they use their money, He's and the Defense Threat Reduction Agency Washington also used their State. money. And for $2 million, they did a test last October. They found out not only does the that gizmo, sucks. as I call it, work yeah, yeah. and work well, instead of protecting one transformer, it will protect up to four like transformers in a cluster. Okay. Even though all transformers are not in a cluster, if you take the $200,000 cost for the largest place. gizmo, and apply I that to the 3,000 to 5,000 total you transformers you have in America, you're coming out to a cost of roughly, I average it around $600 million one-time cost. Now, this is the key. The government doesn't have to spend any money, don't have to increase rates, don't have to go to the public utility commissions. The fact is that every day the utilities have to pay for EMP because they have to power down the utilities when they get the solar a, uh, flux that comes on them every day. When we first asked NERC, we said, what do you spend every year on buying energy at the margin because your conditional sources you have to power down? They said millions of dollars. We said, how much? And after a while, they said at least a couple hundred million dollars a year. Now, they sell 400 plus billion dollars worth of electricity a year. So a couple hundred million dollars is a lot of money for you and I. But for the utility industry, it's kind of below the 1% level. But if you can save every year 100 to $200 million in electricity generation costs and use that money to pay for, let's say, $600 million, that means in three years, investors could get 33% a year return on their investment, which I don't know anybody in America and Wall Street who wouldn't say, I'll issue $10,000 bonds, pay for it, redo it, and then what happens after three years? You use that money to pay for the additional gizmos you need to protect against nuclear EMP, which will cost you probably, as Peter Pry has pointed out and the EMP Commission has put out in his own book, is probably in the billion to one to two billion dollar thing, which means over five to ten years you pay for that. The bill is passed unanimously, I believe it was two years ago, in the House. Not a single no vote. The problem in the Senate was the view between some members said FERC has the capability to go order the utilities to do this already, and others saying that, no, you should put it in the cyber bill, and once you put it in the cyber bill, as you know, the cyber bill didn't go anywhere uh, because of some uh, difficulties. So as Trent Franks has said, we need to have a separate bill. We need to pass it, and as my colleague said, it is unconscionable that even if you put this in the rate base, you're talking about 12 cents per person per year, one time to pay for a fix with respect to solar EMP. If you do nuclear, multiply by four, 50 cents per person per year for one year to fix this. And a lot of people say that we, those of us in this business, gin up problems in order to make money. As I pointed out, you can do this. And I think I know what my first directed taxation not have lotto to ticket money. but investors who would protect our national security do this in a quick would be for with American technology I would vote for EMP for protection from a very serious problem thanks Peter thank you to establish some sense uh, of rather than uh, building a new skateboard rink or um, among the public and their response to it as they learn a new uh, pool or a hospital wing that's going to be built too poorly to withstand an earthquake uh, and so still be usable. You reach out to uh, my boss, Kellyanne Conn. Yeah, yeah, you got that right. Don't forget that in the fucking hospital design. You fuckers, you took all this money, you rebuilt our pool, expanded it, and you made it to withstand, what, 5.7 on the Richter scale. But that's not... Good enough. It has to be usable.
at, you know, at least six. Fucking idiots. It's like made to fail. Well, anyhow. There you go, that's on YouTube. I'll try and put the link depending on where I'm putting this. But, like I said, googly fuck YouTube is um, still held hostile. Uh, they haven't... Uh, they haven't delivered on my generous demand. And, um... We can't continue business any longer. And the only way I can keep posting is if I agree to their terms of like, Okay! 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 Yeah, no, not, not, not fucking okay! I will try my best. <sighs> to resolve the YouTube or override it. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just change the garnishy order and instead of taking out one little electrical part at a time throughout the system and for scrap metal and mineral value. Maybe I'll just, um, yeah, let me show this with you. These are nice. Nice girls, all of them. I would ride inside any one of these. I can't say I would fix any one of them anymore because I'm just, well, <clears throat> I still can't work on Gears bus out the back there. It's a real clean democracy bus. Can't even work on Cindy's motorhome. Anyhow, this one should be ready. And... Well, obviously we're not talking passengers, right? It's a projector. A projector. With sky view! It'll overtake all advertising. Instantly. Show me a, a smog cloud. Show me a chemtrail. <laughs> Show me a storm cloud. Show me a Ragnarok storm. And I can paint a picture in it. So real. You won't tell the difference. You're putting all. Neither will your instruments. It's simple. Anyone could do it. It is. So that's one. This one we hope to have going for Christmas. Just like this. So, what are you going to tell for your YouTube story in your skies when we come to see you, huh? Tower of Babel ain't got nothing on us. Welcome to the common creative. Communication go up. So, you know. I don't think it will be any trouble at all for you to make some real revenues, advertising stuff you approve of. And it'll pretty well run itself. I mean, obviously it's going to need a few humans. Some of them, maybe a, a few teams of those trained monkey AIs. <laughs> 